Hello everybody and welcome back to No Place Like Home, where we did a little bit of decorating last time and I was really pleased with that. Um, our inventory is a little bit full of things like acorns. I'm actually going to chuck a couple of them away because I don't feel like we need that many acorns. I never seem to need acorns. I hope that's not a mistake, uh, but I do have, I think, a chest somewhere with a ton of acorns in it. Probably this one, yeah. So if I need some, I've got some, along with flowers. So I need to actually double check who does the flower beds. Oh, actually, I've also got that wisteria to put down. And a bonsai tree. So where would be a nice place to put a little wisteria? That's a nice place to put a little wisteria. It's very cute, isn't it? I like it. Maybe you could have one on either side of the uh, of the way in there. Let's make another one. I'm going to get all obsessed with decorating now. You watch. <laughs> one either side. There, I think that needs to look very pretty and very distinguished. Okay, so I've got the desert to get onto today. Um, I'm kind of avoiding replanting all these things. I've given like one of everything so far to my good friend up in the up in the valley. And uh well, it did actually kind of say that I'd done all of the Lonely Hills quests. But I don't feel like I have because... Oh, no, Lo Lonely Hills, Frozen Peaks. So Frozen Peaks, sorry. I do still have Veggie Collector to do. But I'm going to have to do everything else. I'm going to have to get, I think, olives and a couple of other things for that to, that to work properly. The other thing I need to make before I go off on my adventures in the desert is we're going to start to need cheese to upgrade things. Um, so what I think I need to do is get a cheese maker on the go. Hopefully I can. Cheese house. Oh, for some reason I don't have rubble in my inventory, but that is a very easily fixed thing. Cheese house. There we go, and I'm going to put that along with my jam maker and all that stuff. So cheese house, you will go there. I probably won't need a ton of cheese, it's mostly just to make upgrades with. And let's go and find the cows. Um, I think, depending on whether I get milk from the cows and the sheep, which I'm not sure about, it looks like there's some milk to be had over here. We also do need to do some naming. Now I'm very aware of this. So, cows. You shall be named. So, we got as far as Irina. And... Christian and I need to scroll down now uh, Nazriel I can also give hats possibly but I'm not sure no it doesn't look like there's any hats that fit right now oh maybe because they're all in my hat box we'll have to come back and do some do some hats and stuff uh, Nazriel Alchemy Rose. I don't know if we can have the full Alchemy Rose. We can. Wonderful. Got to find the right cows. So. One, two, three, four. And then Amanda. You have all got names of cows. Okay, so that's all the cows done. So some of you just need a little rinse down, a little hose down. You needed feeding. Pigs all look very happy. The sheep have wool. Great stuff. And some there are some upgrades that are requiring milk and some that are requiring cheese. So, 
It looks like I'm kind of out of, uh, of food as well. So I need to just chuck, I don't know, a stack of apples into the kitchen or something and make sure I've got enough food for everyone. But that's fine. Okay, so before we start on the desert, I need to go around all the people and see what upgrades are, are, are available now for milk and potentially cheese. Well, let's have a look at your shop first. So... Electronic waste. That is an important one. Um, very picker slows. I've avoided that because people keep telling me to. A bigger water tank with onions. And a trash extractor with garlic. I think I can go get onions. Then cheese, cranberries, olives and cheese. So yeah, I'm going to go get a couple of onions. I've definitely got some here. Then I may, I may replant my fields because I keep like chipping away at them for stuff and uh, I'm going to, it's going to bite me in the bum at some point, isn't it? Alright, so. What's it? Like a water tank. You can never have a big enough water tank in this game. I feel like I should probably make myself a well before I go to the desert, but nah, we'll wing it, right? It'll totally it'll totally be fine. Yeah, I definitely need to plant some more onions. The rest of it I can make do without one, but the, the onions is like, we're, we're down by three. And then I feel like uh, maybe at the end of this episode, or, or the next one maybe, if I, if I feel like it, we'll maybe do like a, a little bit of a bedroom decoration. Wheat is really low as well. I don't mind like having seven of something. But when it, when you've only got about five left or something, then it's a bit bad if it's suddenly going to ask you for a bunch of them. So, and I never know what it's going to ask me for. So yeah, let me go to the kitchen. Is, was it a stuffed pumpkin? You guys said it had a really funny effect or something. Boosts damage, so boosts sprint. Oh, right, yeah, okay. I see possibly why this might be funny. So I need a pumpkin, an egg, mayo, and truffle. Egg, mayo, truffle, let's go get a pumpkin. I think I can see why you guys wanted me to make this, so. Now I've got my big kitchen. Okay, so let's eat it. Hey, it's chicken attack all over again. Chicken attack. <laughs> Wee! Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I like that. So thank you for whoever suggested that in the comments. That was quite amusing. Let's see if there's any other amusing looking recipes or whether that's the only one that's... Like, once it boosts sprint and stuff. No, I'm not interested in none of that. I might shove the truffles in and cook them quickly. Alright, you will cook pet food. That's what I want, pet food. 
Literally, let me cook it, please. I need pet food. 80 pet food. Lovely. Perfect. Okay, so. Have a look at these recipes, anyway. So, damage, health, sprint, super chicken, sprint, sprint, damage, sprint. I probably should make things like popcorn, honestly. Just like, so I can run faster. Sprint, sprint. I know I'll forget to use it and then I'll look like a fool. Alright then, I'm going to make some popcorn. I'm going to harvest my corn. I'm going to replant it. I'm going to turn it all into popcorn. And that way... I will be able to boost my sprint if I've got to sprint very far. But to be honest, probably won't end up having to sprint very far because I know that the areas that I've got to do from now on are pretty small ones. So they're not as bad. We are going to start on the desert today though, promise. Tuck away some of my uh, trash into my trash compactors. I feel like it's an important part of the game, to be honest, to so make sure that everything does get recycled eventually. Okay, feeling pretty good about that. I, I'm glad that I did the chicken attack. It, took, it only took me like a million, zillion uh, recipes to do it. So I'm going to get grab some mayonnaise, actually, and some... What else was it? Blueberries or something, I think it was, for the top jam maker. In fact, do I even need that? I'm just going to look at what recipes I can pick up. I always forget what I do and don't have, honestly. So, cow shed upgrade. Piggy upgrade. The chicken coop upgrade, I think, was wheat, wasn't it? And that was the only thing for Mark. And the raccoon house for Harold as well. I'm not going to be able to remember all of this. So I'm going to take, if we have any wheat at all. I think I've got loads of wheat actually. In my chest, if I remember rightly. I'm going to take that down to Mark, I think. Oh, oh no, no, I don't, I don't. I've got loads of oats, not loads of wheat. I'll take a bit of wheat down then. I'm pretty sure there's a recipe I can get with the wheat, so. Except am I picking up oats here? Yes, I am. Got some wheat. A loads of garlic seeds out of those garlics. Six times as much as I put in. That's really good. Right, so, hello mister, just wanted to pick up that final chicken coop upgrade, give them extra happiness, I need to remember to actually use it as well, make sure that all of the, uh, the pet things are upgraded fully, I, d I don't know how to check which upgrade you've put into them uh, yet, so... I think they're all basic ones except for the chicken coop. I don't think I've upgraded the pig pen, but I don't think it's going to be too much uh, to make those upgrades anyway. Right, so let's have a look at what... You've got way more stuff that I haven't picked up from you. So, oh really? I only took one mayonnaise with me? I thought I took a stack of ten. Right, corn for the upgraded beehives. And I will make them and I will upgrade them just to see what they do, if nothing else. So I need three onions, an extra mayonnaise, and some more onions, and one beet for the raccoon house. Okay. 
Lovely, so I need mayonnaise and six onions. I just want to try and pick up all of the upgrades I can off everyone. So, six onions. Be enough. Some extra mayonnaise because for some reason I only picked up one jar of mayonnaise, which is. No, I didn't actually. I picked up a couple of jars of mayonnaise, but then I used them on the chicken attacks. That's what happened. So let's take those back down to. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I should just run there, shouldn't I? We'll pretend that didn't happen. So yeah, take those down to Harold quickly. And the... Uh, Mark had one left thing and it was the turbo sprinklers, wasn't it? And I'm pretty sure that they just were... Oh, they're milk. Okay. I'm going to pick that up and then I know I don't have to visit Mark again. I may as well do that. And then I need to go back to Rudy with some cheese and stuff. But it's kind of handy that he's just on the farm anyway. But sorry, this, this episode might be a quite a lot of sort of tidying up things around the village and farm. Because I don't tend to do that when I'm busy with an area. So it's a really good time to do it now. Right, so upgrade the mayonnaise makers. Then the top upgrade will be duck eggs, which I do have. Pigs die. Hmm. Hello? Harold, you're broken! Why is Harold broken? Oh! <laughs> Harold is not broken. I used all my preserves up. Gosh, went through those quick, didn't I? So let's do a strawberry harvest. I've done one of those in ages. And honestly, I'm just going to probably put the, the strawberry straight through the preserver. Um, I'll put a few into the seed maker though. Now it went, it was time six, wasn't it? So it's however many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I need to put about twelve of these strawberries back into the makers so that I'll get enough to replant the field. Because it seemed to be about six times as many seeds back as I put in, so. Six. Twelve. Once they're done, we'll be able to reseed everything. Um, I can make it into jam first, or I can just put them through. I know that it, it is better if I make it into jam. While I'm waiting for that, I'll recycle some more trash and get my inventory cleaned up. And I'll go see if any of the cows have milk or need feeding, actually, because uh, I ran out of food. Pick up some duck eggs. I would also like to upgrade your, your chicken coop as well. And the beehives. Yeah, I'll go make sure everyone's fed because that's quite useful. Are you all happy? 
All the cows look pretty happy. You guys will have truffles. So I'm actually going to take those truffles and I'm going to preserve them, I think. So I get quite a lot back from that. Okay, and the sheeples, they need a bit of food. Other than that, they are good. Okay, lovely. Super happy with that. So kind of a day on the farm again. Uh, I feel like that's gone quite well though. These ducks need feeding too. I stole their eggs. Right, okay, so let's make a chicken coop upgrade. And let's also see if we can make like some beehive upgrades and just see what they're see what they're like. So Need a bit of glass for that, so I don't want to make like too many. Let's make two for now. And then I can at least tell you how many extra things you can make with them and stuff like that. Um, I want to know who gives me the flower beds. Oh, it is, it is, uh, she's, she's in the desert, I think. So, yeah, they're clearly a late game thing. I'm going to upgrade the Mayo Maker. I think I already have an upgraded jam house. No, maybe I don't because they also use glass and I don't think I had glass at the time. I think I've got like the top preserver. No, I probably don't because that requires electric waste, which I don't even have yet. But I've got the top kitchen and the top uh, super recycler. So, top chicken house. I don't know if I've got a, a pigsty upgrade, so I'm just going to see if I can upgrade them. I think I might have already done it, though. And there's only a few upgrades for Rudy left. Okay. Let's try and upgrade a couple of these bee houses, then. Chickens, pigsty, jam house. Okay. So we're going to upgrade the bees. And I'll, I'll be able to tell you then how many honeys a day you get from a fully upgraded bee house. Will it be five? Will it be three? Who knows? Upgrade a jam house. I've got a strawberry back from that. Upgraded mayonnaise maker. Okay. Uh, upgraded chicken house. I definitely didn't upgrade this to full, I think. It's had one upgrade so far. Oh, all the eggs came out. Then I'm going to try and see if I can upgrade the pigs. I think they might have already had an upgrade. Oh, did I just make a just make a pig house there? Or what went on there then? That's the pig site upgrade. Right, so Um that looks to me like I already did that one. it's not latching on properly and it looks the same so I think we've already got a, a level 2 pigsty I think I just forgot about it so I'll just throw that one in the trash and we'll uh, we'll come back to it at level 3 I guess probably why I never have to wash the pigs anymore I just have to sometimes like feed them a bit and now it is like kind of the end of the day, so I'm going to just go and have a quick sleep. And then we're going to start on the desert at that point.
definitely. I did a whole load of upgrades. I got a whole load of stuff from all of the vendors. I do need to take duck eggs back down to Harold. I might quickly do that on my way past. The more stuff I have for him... Oh, and the strawberries need replanting. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a bit of a nightmare, aren't I, really? Do it as quickly as I can. That's it. It was exactly the right amount of, uh, of of stuff as well. Okay, so now have a super duper jam maker. Let's see this in action. So it'll take 16 berries at once, whereas this one only takes 10. And now I have loads of jam to put in the preservers. So those are big preservers. Oh no, these are the big preservers, sorry. Um, I can also preserve truffles. I can preserve honey as well. I'm gonna put the leftover strawberries in there. I might actually just make jam out of those though. Yeah, I'm gonna run around getting honey. So I can get more preserves. There's no point in me going to see Harold until I've got enough preserves for him, so. Did I say you could start? I did not say you could start. Oh well. What about these big beehives? They don't have anything in them yet. Yeah, I definitely need to be working on this whole preserving malarkey again. I wasn't worried about it for the longest time. Right, okay, so I think our best bet now is to head out to the desert and to make a start over there so let's go i already unlocked the door to it thankfully and uh we actually get to start by saying hello to this new lady so come closer my friend it's been a while since i saw a living being in this godforsaken place i love your coat is that louise v why would you say so this coat is mine made by me alone I designed it, created it, and I'm happy today that it's the only one on the whole planet. I'm sorry, but if I upset you, I saw a similar one at the station. What? This cheeky thief of a friend? Oh, 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 oh. Time for Tally to have a medicine. Actually, and Midna, because Midna now has to have medicine too. <laughs> yeah, bad news, that one. I knew this day would come. I know it hurts. I know. Uh, well, that was her only good design. She never made anything like it, quite like it again. Ha! That talentless hack. But at least you can't steal from me ever again. Since she's out there and I'm here. And yes, it's kind of comforting, I admit. But let me introduce myself properly. I'm Yvonne Saint Laurent. A designer of garments extraordinaire. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ellen. I'm looking for my grandpa. Did he shop at my place? He could have been. Although looking around his hut... It would have been a long time ago. How old do you think I am, girl? I'm sorry, I meant it doesn't look like he decorated his house or wore nice clothes in a very long time. But maybe you know him. Max Newland. Ah, Max, of course I know him. It wasn't that long ago when we worked together on some new designs. I made custom hats for his animals. And I must say, that was the best order I ever worked on in my life. Oh, that's where all the hats are from. <laughs> and I never heard a single complaint from models. Such patient and grateful creatures. And yes, I've seen him. He's been heading for the sunken city. I need to get to him fast. Well, the fastest way is to use the canal. But we're in the middle of a desert. Well, that is true, but once, a long time ago, it was an astonishing land, full of life and beauty. After all, the nature is the greatest designer of all. But the scientist did his damage, and now we have, well, this. So you can try to traverse the desert and most likely sink into the quicksand. Your grandpa's an experienced traveller, so he knows the path. You, on the other hand, may get into trouble. Please trust me when I say the fastest way is through the canal. The scientist? Hmm, the scientist. Your grandfather's brother. 
Oh, I see your eyes sparkling, but that's enough talk for now. Work comes first. Uh, so what can I do to help this land? I'm glad you asked, but it's even better than that. You can help yourself while helping this land. First, you need to find parts to fix the pipes. Without it, the water won't flow. Then you'll need to bring some greenery back, craft pots and plant bushes near the lakes that you create. This will provide shade and shelter for tired animals, maybe some food too, but most importantly, it will stop the desert from spreading. I mean, this sandy colour is inspiring, but I already got enough inspiration out of it for several lifetimes. Okay, so normally get rid of any waste I see. Out of habit this time, it's a little different. Janet told me about leaking sewage pipes and how she's disgusted by them. I guess her sense of aesthetics is just another reason to do it. Okay, so what do you have for sale? Not a lot of stuff. So olives needed for that. Desert pot once I have a few more preserves. Flower pot once I have some more preserves. I bring some uh, peppers down. And then I don't know what to what will uh, help me with a greenhouse. Okay, so I've got a tree there. I've got a little hat box there. Watermelon salad. Okay, and let's start doing some cleaning. We haven't even done any cleaning today. Not a single bit. So I shall clean this desert. I don't think the desert is going to take as much cleaning. But it's quite interesting how I have finally ran out of preserves. I thought that a thousand plus would be enough, but no. No, I was I was wrong about that. So I'm going to be back to harvesting all the beehives and stuff and uh, getting all of that done. Probably, though, if I get a few hundreds, probably last me a bit. Because there's not a lot to get off of... Uh, this new lady off of Yvonne. Um, Jay still has a few bits. I'm close to finishing everything that Harold has to sell. I've already got everything Mark has to sell. And Rudy only has a few bits left as well. So maybe another couple of thousand preserves. And I'll probably be able to pick up everything. But if I uh, upgrade the beehives, I'll have plenty. I'm going to stick honey through the preservers each day. Alright then. So that is a place for a... Some sort of planter sandbox thing. I just figured we'd just jump right in and get it all cleaned up. And that way maybe I can find the sewage parts, the sewage pipe parts that she needs me to put in. So at the moment the quests we've got are, uh, we still have that one last quest in the frozen peaks, but I need watermelons and stuff there. So we need to fix four pipes, we need to put 16 desert pots and 16 bushes down, and then I need a watermelon salad for my house. But there's only about six quests here, this is a much smaller area. And so it shouldn't take too long. Once I have enough preserves. So what I need to do is make sure that I go back home uh, semi-regularly to check on all of that. Go and pick up the preserves. Hello! The fennec fox seems sad. Perhaps it's missing its home. The trash is disturbing yet another animal. Not only does their home seem unusable, but their food supply was diminished as well. If I dig up watermelons, I can use them to help the fennex. The other thing I need to do is for my for my achievements, I need to make sure I keep going back and picking up um, the seeds from like the boar. Oh, hello. There's a watermelon. I could put that into my uh, bird seed collector thing and make watermelon seeds and plant them maybe maybe that will work or maybe watermelons need to be just picked up I'm not sure because I think watermelons are like a newer a newer plant in this I don't remember whether I've actually dealt with them before 
Because I did the desert when it first came out. We did a, a few episodes on it. We did a little sort of mini-series on it. But I don't remember there being watermelons. But I could be wrong. My memory is not the best in the world. Oh, great. Those little tiny ones. They're so annoying, those. That's why they're annoying, because there's always more of them. However many you think you've got, you haven't got them all. I think I just picked up a sombrero for my animals. <gasps> right, so I think once I've done a little bit of cleaning here, um, maybe just this little area around here then i'll go back and i'll see how my preservers and things are doing because what i don't want to do is get too carried away over here i'm also going to pop those watermelons into the bird feeders and see if i can grow them I need like five of them for a watermelon salad. I'm not picking up that many. Okay, I think it's time to head back. So let's do a quick save and go home. And uh, let's see what I can what I can do with the preserves now. I definitely so I need two peppers and we are that's three oh I had loads more preserves okay I could have I could have used all of these preservers but no for some reason I did not so we could upgrade these more as well we've got some are these the big ones? Yeah. Rather huge preservers. And some slightly smaller ones. That one's busy, okay. And then I'm gonna put honey in the other one. I'll do a mixture of honey and jam. But now I'm up to 457, so it's not so bad. Oh, that one's... Oh, right, okay. I'll stick the honey in there then. And I'll stick... Some more jam in as well. There we are. So that should allow me to buy a few things. I'm wondering whether I should buy things off Yvonne before I go and buy them off Harold. Mm, that's a tricky one. You, you they still got a disco ball. Oh wow! So you're so the upgrade, the upgrade to the chicken coop that I just did, gives them a permanent disco ball. And I can go in and give them, I can just go in and give them food. I don't need to actually feed them, I can just put it in there and I just keep them fed. I love it. <laughs> Permanent chicken happiness. Okay. I still haven't found out though what, uh, how many honeys we get out of the beehives. Uh, these are close to finishing. So I could probably get rid of a little bit more garbage before we go back. And uh, the other thing I wanted to do was to try and multiply up the watermelons if I can. So let's see if the 
bird feeders will accept them. Which apparently they will. So that's pretty cool. That should give me quite a few watermelon seeds. And I want to put down another row of farmland. That one there's just a spacer. I can almost guarantee I'll have some more. Yeah. <laughs> I never run out of fields. It'd be silly. I might put them in the wrong place though. Come back here, field. Alright, let's go and make a sprinkler. And then as soon as the watermelon seeds are ready, then the field will be all ready for them. I can make a turbo sprinkler, but I just don't need it for a field of that size. Oh, well, that's great. I know that that will technically do the job, but it's going to annoy me that it's not central. So, <laughs> never mind. Okay, so, so then let's see how we're doing, how, how fast these are. Oh, look, 18 of them already. The question is, do I need, do I need a lot of them? Can I just plant them a bit at a time? I know I need five, a hundred percent. Right, so I've got the peppers that I need. I've got the um, preserves that I need. So I, yeah, actually a load of preserves just finished. Gosh, these are so fast, these recyclers and things now. They're amazing. Oops. So I'm going to go back and see Yvonne and I'm going to try and buy things off her. And I feel like that would be the best thing to do first and then if what with whatever I've got left over I'll go and see Harold. That way I know I've got all of the planters and things I need for my desert quests. Oh I like this desert music. So she'll sell electronic waste and recycled material. Nice. Okay, so I am going to buy a desert pot. I am going to buy um, an oil press once I get olives, but I don't have that yet. A flower pot. And I am going to buy a greenhouse once I have cranberries. Okay, fine. Okay, so uh, I'm now going to go back and make myself my, my 16 planters. And on the way, I'm actually going to go and see... I'm going to go see Harold and see if I can get the last bits of uh, stuff off of him. Last bits of stuff. And then I need to make a watermelon salad for Frank, and that's the last of Frank's bits and pieces. No, 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 no. I was just passing by, sorry. Wrong, wrong person. I've got all of Mark's recipes now. I feel like I'm getting to this sort of sense of, getting this slight sense of completion going on now. I could take a watermelon down to uh, Lily, but... I think I still need to get olives as well, so I think let's not worry about that too much. Okay, so have a look at your shop. So I need duck eggs for the may super mayo maker upgrade. I don't think I'm ever going to need to make that much mayonnaise, but still I want to at least have all the upgrades. Then I need the pigsty upgrade. So I can give them a disco ball too, hopefully. And then I 
also need to get the jam house one super jam house into an ultra jam house and then i need to just make sure that i've picked everything up which i now have everything of harold's is ticked off the list perfect absolutely perfect i'm very happy with that now yes 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 so good Okay, so the next thing I need to do before maybe I end the episode, actually, I'm not sure, but um, I want to just go in. Is it into farming? Yeah. And I want to make the desert pots. Now, it's time 16, so hopefully if I craft one, that should be everything I need for my desert bush quest there. Which is very nice. I'm actually going to water these because uh, the sprinkler doesn't do it for the first time. Well, I think that uh, I may, I'll see if I can make the piggy upgrade because that's the one I'm most interested in. After that, I think we might just uh, leave the episode there at that point. So we've got upgraded pigsty. We do need the upgraded cow sheds and bird feeders from Jay. And the upgraded cheese houses and we also need to purchase a loom. So I just need to, probably next episode, I'll try and go through and visit Jay and get all of the last bits and pieces of her and see what is needed, what she wants to exchange for it. Um, but let's just make her, just make the pigs happy. Let's make those pigs the happiest pigs in the world. Let's give those pigs a disco ball. So I imagine I probably just go into the the actual, um, well, I'll see tomorrow whether I can collect the eggs out of the actual uh, chicken house. Because if I can, that'd be really cool. That will be a thing to see, won't it? Right, so pig house upgrade is go. And then we will see next episode how that works and whether we get a disco ball for the pigs. That'll be a little cliffhanger for you. You can... You can see if that happens next time. So, we have finished the Frozen Peaks. The only quest that we have left there now, just to recap, is the one for Lily, and she wants a few things. We've now got a kitchen completely uh, decorated and kitted out. Uh, I've started on the desert. We've got all of the upgrades that Mark and, uh, Mark and Harold provide, so we just need to go through Jay's upgrades now. And... Uh, I, there's a couple that Yvonne has, but she doesn't have many anyway. And then maybe upgrade some of the machines in the farm and do more decorating. So that's that's what we've got to look forward to. And then eventually going after Grandpa in the Sunken City and getting the conclusion of the tale. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more No Place Like Home. Please subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.